close to ground zero, however, I read this on the post as well, that seems to be posted for private property. I'm going to try to make it really quick, get in and get out. But this is uh, very close to ground zero. And it's really beautiful here. I'll give you a quick look around. That's the ocean right there. A nice little inlet and some nice homes in the distance there. Alright, I'm gonna go see if I can't find this. Get out of here before I get noticed. Well, that took all of about two seconds to find, and luckily for future cachers, you really don't have to go onto their private property too much. Here's the container. Let's go ahead and open it up. We got a little goodie bag of swag. I already see what I want out of there. There's a uh, Bob's Burgers pin. So I'll trade it with some of the swag that I brought with me and uh, move on to the next one. Spent a little time looking for this one. Uh, this is a PNG, which is a park and grab cache, which means it should be relatively easy to find. Uh, which can also mean that it's up for vandalism. And then checking, uh, I like to try to find it without looking at the descriptions or looking at pictures or whatnot on the site and uh, probably should have looked at the description before coming to this one because the last time that somebody tried to come and find it was in April and they said they couldn't find it and searched for a while and the last time it was found somebody said that in uh, March it was out in the open and was in need of maintenance it does not appear that the owner of the cache has come back uh, to fix it. And I've looked around for a little while, and what happens to be uh, the case most often for the ones that are missing are there are homeless camps nearby. And inside these woods right here, this little patch of trees, I don't know if you can see it, it's all beat down in there usually a good sign that that's a homeless camp. It's probably one of the nicest homeless camps I've found since there's not a lot of trash lying around. But this is a really nice neighborhood, so... I'm assuming that it was found by somebody and destroyed or... kept or something. Or perhaps there was somebody from a groundskeeping crew on this little park that found it and uh, disposed of it. But if you're new to the geocaching scene, if you find a container and you look inside and there's a log in there, a little slip of paper that has people's signatures, uh, more often than not it'll have the geocaching uh, paper on it and you should be able to recognize that it's a hidden treasure for people to find. And uh, it just happens that unfortunately this one appears to be gone. So, if you're in the area in Wind Haven, Florida, looking for uh, Pin the Pine, you might want to check the logs again before you try to come out and get this one because it appears to be gone as of right now. So I'll go ahead and notify uh, 
the geocaching community that it is still missing and that it is in need of maintenance. But that's part of geocaching, so it's on to the next one. So I just found my last cache, uh, Smoothie King cache. Very, very easy one to find. <clears throat> However, there wasn't, I mean, it was a big container, just didn't have a lot of good swag worth taking in there, so I left everything behind. The log was very, very old and unprotected from the elements, so I was able to find a place to sign it. Lots of muggles around, but also I'm doing this in the middle of the day and in Florida smoothies are definitely king. So, <clears throat> I know you saw the ground zero as I rolled up to it, but I had to be quick with so many muggles. Uh, so I'm headed off to another one here. Alright, we're here at ground zero for Stairway to Heaven Cash. Rightfully named for being at a church, and uh, let's see if I can find this one quick. Looks like it should be fast. things I've found yet to date. I've been waiting to find one of these. It's a few things that a geocacher is looking to do and that's be a first to find. I haven't done that yet. Uh, you get lots of swag. I like the collectible ones. Uh, the path tags. I have three of them. Two of them by the same group. But they're little path tags that you leave behind and you log them on online. Well, I found my first travel bug. And this is what it looks like. And I didn't know that... I know you're supposed to pass them along, but what I didn't know is that they also have travel bugs that you can keep. This is a copy tag that I can keep. So this next cache is called the King Cache like the king of burgers. Uh, we're just around lunchtime, so it's going to be kind of hard to find this one without a lot of attention. Unfortunately, that was the second DNF today. Did not find, and uh, like I said before, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. <laughs> 